This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. Today we are going over all of the assets within Build Buy Mode that come with the Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator Game Pack. I've gone ahead and laid everything out yard sale style just so that you could get a visual of all of the contents. There is so many objects to cover. I literally don't even know where to start. Do keep in mind that the overall theme of these objects and the game pack itself is supposed to replicate like Scandinavian style. At least that's what I've read um, on various various websites but also I feel like a lot of these objects are very modern they can fit very nicely um, within you know various decors within the home also I've alternated all of the swatches so that you can get a visual of the color story for this game pack I want to head on over to the three yes three <laughs> build objects that we received now I was definitely anticipating some more items but unfortunately we only got three doors the first door here we have it's very modern as you guys can tell by like the door handle and things of that nature also there's like some you know interesting little like designs there on the woodwork um it's interesting it's okay it's fine i don't hate it i probably would use it within other packs and stuff that i have uh we have a sliding glass door here all of the natural wood tones i will say though some of these wood tones are a little like stand offish like they don't really match the wood tones with the base game or anything like that which was kind of frustrating obviously white is kind of a universal color so it does um and then we are going to head in to the buy objects so for the first buy object that i'm showing you guys right now um it is these uh curtains so there's a couple different variants for the curtains like different wall heights and stuff like that they all kind of feature this abstract um like pattern some of them do have little like leaves it's actually a really nice little curtain i've used these already in a few different builds i want to go ahead and filter things out so that we can get a better idea of what i'm looking at here um for wall decor we do have a couple paintings this one here is really nice i love uh, the colors on this it's very rich and vibrant if you go through the swatches some of the pictures do change so as you guys can see we've got like what appears to be cactuses or maybe well definitely not a cactus gen but like a row of trees at the that was really pretty also some abstract paintings in there um the second one is actually really nice because you can scale these down and kind of create a little collage with them too and all of the prints on these are really 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 intricate and interesting to look at um this little wall decor piece actually kind of is technically a build item which is interesting has like these little succulents and like different types of patterns on the woodwork which is cool they kind of look like little yin yangs there's also the inspiration board for the interior designer career once you guys get up close you can really see the detail i love that they've included the floor plans there's also like some wood swatches in here some fabric clippings and some inspiration photos as well there are two brand new mirrors and this beautiful wall sculptures which just so happens to be one of my personal favorite I love that they've implemented the plain Jane wooden tones to make it very versatile, but also we have some colorful ones in there as well. Here are some storage bins. The cool thing about this one is that you can actually go through the swatches and select whether you want books or if you want a variation of books and toys. One of the things that I was really excited for besides having a countertop stove was the fact that we can actually build our very own custom walk-in closets. Not to mention this modular system you could use for other things too as well even as your very own custom entertainment center for your tv yada 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 now this is gonna be really hard to explain so follow closely as you guys can see we have a lot of options so many to choose from that it would be literally like impossible for me to show you every single little freaking thing um but over here i've created my own little like closet display and the cool thing is, is when I hover over one of the pieces that are within my display, you'll notice that there's this little like kind of like heartbeat outline around the very first item that I place, which just so happens to be the acute wall mounted TV stand by modular. Um, now, if I actually select this and press alt, 
I can move this entire unit as a whole. I don't have to like select each little piece and move it individually. I can literally move it all at once. So if it's like off center, I don't have to like go through the tedious task of moving each individual square. It's really nice. I like it a lot. I'm really excited to play with these. Now for clutter items, there's actually a lot that you can utilize to fill in the dead space when it comes to your unit. For instance, we have like these little storage boxes, which are super duper cute. We also have some bins that you can like throw up there too. Various like art objects as well that you can kind of clutter things up with um so as you all can see we have a couple different like variants of the storage boxes we've got like the plastic tubs we've got what appears to be like a little cloth box um just your traditional cardboard even this little like wicker uh basket which is super nice and <gasps> clothes yes you guys so many freaking clothes that we can choose from to like clutter up our closet the cool thing is is that these little um what you call it these little uh, clothing racks are actually functional so they will act as like dressers and stuff so if you wanted to maybe make a smaller I don't know if I can find something to do this with um if you wanted to make like a smaller version of the um, modular closet you could do that too so you don't have to have like this big old display thought that was really nice there's also some shoes in there which is super cool and then we have um a little like llama statue which is also really nice now moving on to beds holy crap we have an array of bunk beds the cool thing about these bunk beds they actually come with combo variants if you wanted to just kind of make things quick and easy on yourself as you guys can see there's a bunch of different different styles too we've got some modern ones this one's really nice because it has like a little curtain i guess so i just wanted you guys to take a little a little look there of course there are a bunch of different swatches that you can kind of play around with um the nice thing about the base game update is that we can now place like desks underneath these little loft beds we can place the singular beds as well if you wanted to make this like a traditional bunk bed um and then even even um and double beds also fit under here quite nicely. So with that said, <laughs> there's a nice assortment of singular beds too. And they have a lot of nice swatches to choose from. They've also included this adorable little play tent that is indeed functional. Children can sleep in it. They can also play inside, nap, and do a little make-believe. We're going to have Moira here go and play test this for us because I'm really curious to see uh, what it is that they do when they're inside. Oh, look. Look at her, she's peeking out of it. Oh, and it actually jiggles and wiggles. <laughs> this is so freaking adorable. I love this thing. I was wondering maybe if you could like put it inside your inventory so you could like take it to the park and stuff. Um, I wanna see what it looks like when they sleep. I don't know how exactly this would, oh my goodness. I was gonna say work, but they literally like lay inside of it. How cute. Let's have her go and play too while we're at it so you guys can see like all of the different options. I really feel like this is super adorable. I love this. For swatches, there's a total of four. The first one is at this little farm theme. Then we have what appears to be like Candyland slash gingerbread inspired. There is a space uh, theme as well. And then the last one is this cute little like, I don't know, it's kind of giving me Doodle Bear vibes, but also maybe just something that a kid drew themselves. Another feature in this pack that had everyone literally hyped was the ability to finally create sectional sofas. I was so excited for this as well. We'll come back and check it out in just a minute. I did want to show though the sofa that we received in this pack, just in case you don't want to play around with the sectionals. This is a really nice sofa. I do wish they had a love seat version. I'm a little sad about that because this thing is literally gigantuous. Also, I was kind of hoping that they would include like little decor pillows because, you know, I feel like it's about time. There is a little Ottoman. He's kind of lonely, but he's also really cute. I love him a lot. <laughs> and then for the star of the show, the sectionals. Okay, so you have two different variants. You have this one that kind of features the very like quilted, cushiony, um, 
cushions I guess I know that was a little redundant and then you have this one that's kind of like modern and sleek now if you go in to your sectionals where are they though hold on a second I'm like having a moment um, you can click on the swatches and then you will hit the little monkey wrench which will basically allow you to turn the automatic sofa placement on and off but within it you will also be able to see each individual uh, piece or segment of the sectional sofa so there's a lot to choose from we have like the curved version um, we also have like the outer corner piece honestly you could customize the hell out of these um, you can even make your own little like love seat if you wanted to by selecting the inner and outer portions so I mean you know we don't necessarily need a love seat for the sofa but it would have been nice I really like that the cool thing too is that they've also included um, underneath the little like seg segmenter <laughs> um, a single which is essentially a chair so you can even have a matching chair with this which is also very very nice the same situation applies with the more um, I guess like evolved sectional is what it's called a couch evolved <laughs> um this one's really cool too i like this so yeah basically um that's what it's capable of there's also the little i don't know what the heck this is called this is called the flat segment um you could use these as ottomans or you know maybe even like coffee tables whatever your heart desires there's so much customizability here is kind of crazy um also we do have these uh lounges which is interesting so you could do like a little singular lounge um or you could do like left and right lounge and you can create either like a double or again a single which i thought was really nice there's two different variants here to kind of match the sectional sofas we also have this beautiful armchair we also have three dining room chairs and, of course, a little bar stool. All of these chairs are super duper different and unique. I feel like they're all very different in style. Not going to lie, though, these bar stool chairs are actually one of my favorites. I love the way that they look. Um, so these bad boys are actually benches. Weirdly enough, they're not uh, coffee tables like you would think. Now, this one definitely resembles a coffee table. And honestly, who's to judge? Now, I do believe this this bad boy here is indeed a coffee table i love the shape of that we've got a few different end tables to play with as well these will look perfectly alongside the sofas or even the beds um, i do believe this is another module piece so that will actually go with your little units you can use these um on the side too if you wanted like as little coffee tables and place like decor items on top i really love like the um like the little the little art pieces that they selected so it's like i don't know how to explain it but this is like the multi-cube and then we've got like a little jack here these are so so fun and retro i love them and then we have this big old square coffee table too and also a smaller version and a more like kind of i don't know scandinavian-esque looking one uh this bad boy i have no idea what it is but it's some type of bowl <laughs> um i think it's just another art piece and then of course you guys already saw the little llama and for rugs y'all i'm obsessed i love these rugs one of them i think it may be this one um i do believe it's actually a locked asset which i've gone ahead and unlocked so that you guys can see it but i'm in love uh, with the palette and just even like the, the the patterns that they chose for these rugs and some of them as you guys can see are like two-toned which i thought was really nice this one is interesting as well i feel like we're gonna get a lot of use out of these items um now for dining room tables there are three different dining room tables to choose from all very different um and then we've got like a couple sinks in here too which i think are kind of nice they look like floating sinks but they actually have like little poles behind them the only plant that we got is this one it's really 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 big got what these things are but my mom loves to use these like she's obsessed with using these and her like little like you know like bouquets and things for like the bathroom plants i almost forgot to share with you guys the unseeable bathtubs there's a supported and non-supported version in total we have five desks which is crazy we have a few different like singular desks and then this tiered desk which i actually really like and a brand new laptop that is called the simac pro laptop um this is indeed a locked object that you will be able to receive when you are level 10 in the interior decorator career um and then the drafting desk now the thing about this i actually thought your sims would be able to draft concepts on this but unfortunately i don't think you can i, I literally think it's just 
a desk. Because lighting is important, we have a nice assortment of lamps. Um, the first one is this little end table lamp. I guess, hypothetically speaking, you could put this on a desk if you wanted to. We have a floor lamp, and then we also have this beautiful wall lamp. Um, and then for ceiling lamps, we have these what appear to be like little like foil cupcake tin things. I actually really like these ones a lot. And there's a singular version too, which you can kind of add to the cluster, or it can kind of be its own little standalone item. These are probably also another favorite of mine. And then we have um, this bad boy here, which is the Bunny Bonnet Lamp by Geoworks. <laughs> Kitchens also got a huge upgrade with this game pack. There are two different styles of cabinetry that you can choose from. So we have a more sleek Scandinavian version, and then we have a more modernized version that kind of reminds me of Ikea. Don't hate me, Ikea's life. Here is the first kitchen set. It's probably my least favorite out of the two personally, but I really love all the options for the different types of cabinets that you can choose from. I'm a little confused by this end piece here because I'm like, mm, it's a little awkward shaped, but I think um, it's supposed to outline like a wall or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, I love the fact that there are definitely like little pieces of glass on some of the cabinets and then also the counters so that you can kind of see what's inside them. It just adds a little a little extra flair. And here are what the islands look like. We also have that little piece of glass. If you didn't want like it to be, you know, circular or whatever, obviously you guys can kind of go um, into the settings and you can kind of change things up a little bit bit too. I think there's actually like a, a square piece with like a rounded off corner. So that's kind of fun. Um, and then for the second kitchen set, like I said earlier, this is definitely my favorite. It's giving me major Ikea vibes and I'm here for it. Um, I love that this one, you can really interchange the counters with the cabinets to kind of make your own custom look. Uh, I really love the fact that they've um, <laughs> decided not to put drawers on the outside of the island. That was a little confusing in previous sets. And again, you guys can kind of see how you can alternate um, some of the counters. These are two different swatches, but I think it plays very nicely with the wood tones on the actual cabinet doors with the um, drawer knobs or whatever the drawer bars, whatever they're called. Um, obviously, if you wanted to, you could definitely make this match as well. And then for the uh, cabinet tree, it doesn't really look like your traditional cabinets. There's a bunch of little like space here. I wonder if you could like place things in there. I'm kind of curious to see if that is, whoops, if that is possible. Just give me a second. I don't think that you can obviously if you have move objects on that'd be a possibility let's go and check out some of the um cabinet tree that is available to choose from so you have like a nice little array of options here this one's really nice too i love like the little candle oh my goodness here's like the outer outer corner piece and then like the end cap for the hold on a second for the actual counters I'll take you guys in and just show you what it looks like. Um, so here are some of the options. This one's really, really nice. I actually like that a lot. Oh my goodness. So there's like a little idea of what to expect. Now, one of the biggest things I think a lot of us have been really anticipating um, is the countertop stoves. Oh my goodness. I love this. You can literally place these bad boys on any countertop surface. There's two different variations. So we have like a digital one, which is really cool. And then we have like more of your traditional like gas burner stove. And then if you wanted, um, you can actually use the um, countertop oven. So it's called a no space electric oven space saver. But I feel like this would take up more space to be honest. And we also have uh, two versions of this as well. So those are your options and they come in a bunch of swatches so you can really choose to like mix and match or have it coordinate your kitchen. It's entirely up to you. Now there are two actual um, stoves to choose from. Can you stack the stove with the burner? Yes, you can. And it's cool because it's interchangeable. So again, you can kind of customize the look of your stove. I think that is amazing. If you were curious as to if you're able to cook with just the burners and not the oven, the answer is yes, you can. However, your options are very limited to whatever recipes only require the burner. So if you wanted to be able to make the rest of the menu, then you're gonna need an oven. The last few items to add to our showcase are clutter items. I 
love clutter. I used to say I hated it, but look how times have changed. So I already showed you a lot of these, you know, like the whisk, the whisker baskets. I keep calling them whisker baskets for some reason. I don't know. And then we have like the shoes. We have um four pairs in total. So that's what they look like. We've got like kid shoes. We've got like lady shoes, men's shoes, a whole bunch of different types. To keep things interesting, you can go ahead um, and kind of play with the swatches so that they don't all look the same. And then a bunch of storage boxes, which I'm curious to know if you can actually store items in them. We've got like the singular versions and then also like some stacked ones as well, which I think are really nice to add some variety to your closet spaces. And then we have the um, plastic bins, which oh, hold on, hold on a second. If you get really close, like really close, you can almost see through them they're translucent i am a sucker for things that are translucent you guys oh my god i'm so excited hold on <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was like, I love those. Oh my god. All right. Um, we have a locked asset here It's called issues of in interior design magazine. So those are fun couple swatches for those as well um, we have the color swatches, which is like a clutter item, obviously. You already saw Lana the Llama and then the Forbidden Cereal Bowl. God. Uh, and then the last two items are the little cube and the jack. Anyways, you guys, that pretty much wraps it up for Build by Mode for the Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time.